Hey guys, Zero here. Um, I got another unboxing to show you guys, and um, this one's pretty cool. I think, well, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's a throwback to the 80s, man. So if you're a kid from the 80s and you had any toys from the 80s and things like that, you're going to probably like this. Or you probably might know about it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, but I got a package in just now from China. It's pretty big. It's not ticking. Looks pretty good. I mean, they pretty much wrapped it like in a bag and then tape the bag up but whatever it's here I'm ready to open it up get it to the table and let you guys see what we got here I mean you can tell by the title what's in it but um, I'm excited I'm excited to open this up um, and we'll get into why uh, in a little bit all right I'll see you in a minute all right guys let's crack this thing open and take a quick look at what's inside so I was basically tooling around on one of the um, uh, Chinese sites that I go to, and I came across these, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember these. Well, I remember the original versions from the 80s. Um, I'm sorry, this paper is like ridiculously tough. Um, so I came across this and I was like, you know what, let me get one um, just to see what the new ones are like, you know, and um, hopefully, you know, put it on display with a bunch of my other stuff, you know. I, I'm, I'm unfortunately like a completist, so I, I tend to wind up getting like a ton of these things. You know, I like something and I wind up getting everything in the set or whatever, but this time, I'm, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get, stay with the one, and that's going to be that. There we are. The Zoid. I don't know if some of you remember this or not, but this was a toy line that came out way back in the 80s. Uh, it was called Zoids here in America and I think Europe. Um, or it, it actually it got the name Zoids in Japan. I think it was called Mecha Bionica originally, like 1982. Um, and they had like a small line of little um, figure, action figure slash model kits. So basically you put this together and then you play with it but it had like a most of them had I think all of them actually had like some kind of special wind-up feature where it had a little dial you wound it up like a like a tinker toy you know what I mean like it, and it would either walk or like they had a t-rex and he would just walk you know and, and, and move his arms and stuff like that um, and I think throughout the years they've they've expanded they've given these things uh, story arcs you know um, they've created animes they've created manga I mean these things have a huge huge uh, history and a, and a huge following there we go I apologize um, so they've created all kinds of, of zoids and again you know it's all they're all automated now, like automate you know now I think they're battery operated for the most part um, no more wind up mechanics you know um, just straight battery operated uh, toys and it's kind of cool I'm pretty sure this is all the history of where this thing comes from name and stuff I don't can't read Japanese so if you can read it, good for you. And bottom is just the same as the top. This is the Hunter Wolf. And I chose a wolf, obviously, because I like wolves. Um, and then I found out that there's other kinds, like the Command Wolf and the Shadow Fox and Fire Fox and all that cool stuff. And I was like, oh, man, I want to get a bunch of these. And I wanted to get one of the dinosaurs uh, because they make a Stegosaurus, which is my favorite dinosaur. Um, and I just look in and I'm like, uh, I think I'm just going to go with the one and build this one and see how I do. And then from there, you know, I'll decide if I want to get one more, just one more, because I don't want to, I don't want to have a thousands of these things like I have with my Gundam collection. You know what I mean? I have so many Gundams, you know, I, I'm going to start giving them away because <laughs> I just don't have the time to build them all. And, you know, honestly when I was collecting them, it was just an obsession of collection rather than actual, like, 
you know, desire for the model kit itself. It's got like a cool digital desert camo case. I'm gonna slide this out, hopefully everything comes out in one piece. That's pretty simple. We'll set the box over here. Give me the contents. So here we have bagged instructions. That's cool. Little map. I'm assuming this is part of the lore again. Wild, wild continent. Let's pop this open real quick. Always cut away from you. Never towards you. So this will be here. Zoids, Hunter Wolf. See, there's a black one. Oh no, that's the skeleton. Okay. So yeah, there's okay, there's that's what it, the the main frame of it all, the skeleton, and then you put the armor plating on it. Okay. Almost lost my shit there, guys. I apologize, but uh, you know, if there's a black wolf, I'd like to get that guy. So here we have. Let me move this over. Some more for you guys. You can see here, and then we'll see if we can get a little closer for you. Let's turn the angle on this camera down a bit. Um, better. Okay. So this is like full color instructions, um, which is pretty nice. Actually, really cool. Um, and there's a lot of features on these things, like movable features. So you have to be careful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be careful of what I glue and what I don't glue. I'm a stickler for gluing plastic models together. Like, you know, if the part doesn't move or doesn't need to move, you should be gluing it together. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're gonna, it's gonna fall apart on you, and you're gonna lose something, and you're gonna be like, well, I had this cool kit, but he's missing his thigh bone, so now he's just a three-legged goof. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty simple. They said that these instructions and the, these kits are really simple to build. Take you about an hour, maybe two, if you're an experienced builder. You know, depending on you know your skill level and stuff like that, or what you you know like, you know, if you're just starting out and all you want to do is build it, it should take you 45 minutes to an hour. But if you're you know a veteran of, of building models, you're gonna probably prime. You're gonna probably clip, clean, primer, you know, um, and stuff like that. It doesn't look like you need to clip though, so. This looks like you need to like, that's pretty cool, it's got the armor. I'm not a fan of the blue, but that's okay. I'm gonna probably repaint this anyway. Um, but I do I do like the kit itself. You know, it's a pretty cool looking kit. Um, I wanna say they were originally released by Tomi Takara. I wanna say these were, yeah, Takara Tomi. But, uh, the newer ones have, they're made by Kotobakuya and Tomi. So the, some of the newer ones are really, really, really advanced. Like, got a lot of really cool features on them. You know. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the goods. Bags of parts. Looks like that's the armor. That's not blue per se, it's like a teal. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it's like a, yeah, it's like a teal more than a teal blue rather than just blue blue or true blue. Um, this looks like the motor. Is it wind up? No. No, it's battery. It's got to be. Yeah, it's battery operated. Okay, so here's the motor or engine, and it's got gear. These are gears like servo, like a servo. So this is probably how it walks and stuff. Um, you put a battery in there, and there's your little switch right there. Not bad. See the little motor right there. I wonder. I wonder if I could get. Probably do damage to it then. 
but I bet you a Tamiya motor will fit in there. A four to me a four wheel drive motor would fit there. That looks the exact same size. <laughs> so we're gonna convert the shit out of this thing eventually. All right. Whoop, another bag. Okay, these are the these are the poly caps or or covers. Yeah, they're kind of squishy. So these are the caps that lock all the parts, the joints in place, and help you, you know, helps the model move. Um, and that's it for the packaging. We'll put this to the side. Let's take a look at this big old bag right here. Cut this boy open. Like I said, I I I remember these in the '80s, and I never I never got them. Uh, I never got one of these at the time. I'll be honest. I was collecting Transformers and GI Joe, so I really didn't, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think the ones that they were that were out at the time were a bit cheap, cheaper feeling. That's got a cool little claw mark there. That's cool. Bag A. Bag A. First of Bag A, I guess. Bag A, one, two, and three. So I guess you start, you start with um, A1, A2, A3, and then you go into these parts, I guess. Yeah, because that's B. That's B there. And S. Uh, I don't know what S means, but special. Um, I don't know if I'm, gonna, I'm not going to open these up. Um, but what I will do, if you guys are interested, um, I can either do a build video or I could just do a complete video and just show you guys what it looks like in the end and, you know, give you guys my thoughts on it because I'll definitely do that. But it's up to you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me build this thing um, or go through the, at least the process because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to, doesn't look like I got a clip. I'm going to see if I have to actually file or sand anything down and if not, these things are going to get primered right away. So I'm going to primer this whole model, um, the colors that I want. It's probably I'm going to probably turn this into a gray, you know, and maybe do some some gunmetal and dry brushing with all the black skeleton parts, you know, because I feel like it should be metallic and then have a nice nice wash of color and, and dry brush, like something like this, like these silver components. But these guys will probably, I'll probably, re, uh, even though they're silver already, I'll probably primer them or you know in like lead belcher or some kind of silver primer you know and then because this plastic won't hold paint very well i mean you could probably use gundam models uh markers you know for the panel lines and stuff but you know to actually get paint on here you're gonna have to primer the whole thing so we'll see what we can do and i don't know i might take these yellow yellow caps here and primer them in a different color i don't i don't like the idea of yellow, the yellow caps it's just me Looks like another gun in there, like part of its gun. Yeah, that's part of the gun. But like I said, um, like I haven't, like I said, I never owned one of these before. This is my first Zoid. Um, hopefully not my last, but hopefully I'm not gonna go overboard like I usually do and get a shit ton of them. I just want maybe one more, maybe. Um, you see if my son would like building one of these because supposedly it's it's for like all the age groups. You know, like kids should be able to build this. And I don't think it says anything anywhere on the box. I'm looking right now. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it says anything on the box. Usually it will say like age, blah blah blah, and up. But these, this one really doesn't. So, anyway, um, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do. Uh, you know, we'll go from there. And I, like I said, based on this kit and how it goes together and how well it's made and whatever, I might get a second one. Um, but yeah, these are these are pretty cool. I, I, again, I like the design. We'll, we'll see it when it's done. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, share. It helps um, me keep going. You know, even if it doesn't, I don't get paid for it. It still just motivates me to keep doing stuff because I know you guys are watching and I know you guys like what I'm putting out. So, and if you do want to contribute, I have my email link. In the description below you can paypal me any anything will help even a dollar will be greatly appreciated all right guys thanks for watching